Hi guys, I'm Stephen King. Boogity 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 boo. And I'm the master of horror. I write scary books. Lots and lots and lots of scary books. Oh yeah. Anyhow, I just wanted to welcome you guys to Max Cotton's Tooth. What? Cook? It doesn't make a lick of sense. Daniel, don't fucking argue with me. That doesn't make a lick of sense. All right. I'm Stephen King, and I want to welcome you to Max Cook's 2012 Halloween Hell Show. Ah! Don't tell me not to scream. I'm a, I'm a horror meister. I know a little thing about it. You know what, Daniel? I got to tell you something, Daniel. You were on my last fucking nerve, I'll tell you that right now. Don't fuck with me and, and keep telling me what to do. I'll have you know something. I was on Sons of Anarchy, okay? And I know a lot of MCs across the nation, okay? And with one phone call, I gotta have your ass seriously whooped. I just wanna go back to Maine. Anyhow, I wanna let you guys know that next Halloween, 2013, I'm putting out my new novel. Woo! Isn't that exciting? Oh, and you'll be very excited to know that it's the sequel to The Shining. Oh yeah, it's called The Shining 2. It's not, it's not called The Shining 2. But what the fuck is it called then, Daniel? You, you seem to know everything. Dr. Sleep? I don't remember giving you any green light. All right, Dr. Sleep comes out next Halloween and it's the sequel to The Shining. And, you know, this is going to be a much better book. First off, there's no Jack Torrance. He's gone. Bye, Jack. Okay? So you got Danny, who's all grown up. And then you got uh, Tony, who, I don't know, he's a lawyer now. I don't know what Tony is. Uh, no mazes. Ooh, but you got a lot of vampires. I'm a vampire! And I'm going to suck your blood out of your neck. Wee! So, everybody loves vampires. I think there might be a couple of psychics. And a cyclops. But don't quote me on... What do you mean there's not a cyclops? Daniel, then why did I write a cyclops story in there? Okay. You know what? You keep your mouth shut for five seconds. I'm seriously going to hurt you when this is over. And now enjoy the video. It's going to be so scary. It's not going to be scary. It's going to be a piece of shit. I've seen this guy's videos. Okay? Two words, not funny. Don't you fucking move now. You keep that ass airborne. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with. What the fuck are you talking about? I just fucking got here. What, are you gonna watch that dick ears before you talk to me? Nick Santoro? Jason Voorhees. Jason, who? Boy, he. 
Voorhees. Voorhees! All right, all right, Anthony, take it easy. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Voorhees, huh? You sound very fucking Italian. Whoa, 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 Nikki. It's not about being Italian. It's about the fact that our crews are demoralized. And frankly, lacking the numbers. Now, if we're gonna pull our resources together and do business like we talked about, well, then this thing is our new muscle. What, are you fucking kidding me right now? You expect me to believe that this backwards, mama's boy, special Olympics mutated motherfucker is my new protection? Just for that, now he's your new driver. My driver. You know what a drive, kid? <laughs> he doesn't even understand English. And what's with the hockey mask? Lane Goretzky. He's modest about his appearance. God forbid, maybe there's a little venereal ability in there. But you wouldn't know a fucking thing about that, would you, Nick? You gotta be fucking kidding me right now, Kate. Okay, with all the respect, you're about as intimidating as Elmo the fucking Muppet. <laughs> the fuck you gonna do with that? Slice me a brisket? Huh? Hi, I'm Gary, and I'm a gay cannibal. Mmm. Now, I bet you just said to yourself, What? A gay cannibal? Who knew they were around? Well, we are, honey. I'm queer. I'm here. I'm anthropophaginian. <coughs> Get used to it. So today, I thought I'd quickly show you how I prepare a meal. Let's start with this toddler brain. I know, I know. It's wrong to eat children. Well, guess what, judge and jury? It's survival of the fittest. Witchy Poo's hungry, and these little Hansel and Gretel cakes delectably fill the void. <laughs> Let's just pop it in the crock pot. Ooh, it's steaming. Oops, almost forgot the timer. 30 minutes for this sweet bread. And don't you fear, the kids never see me coming. I'm a total pro when it comes to chloroform takedowns and morphine ODs. God, it's amazing how much you can learn just by watching Dexter. Oh, to have C. Hall inside of me. Oh, mmm. Next up, Landlady Finger Salad. Jeez, you old bitch. Sorry I was two days late with the rent. Well, guess what? Now you're a salad. Mmm, can you tell I like to taste as I go along? <gasps> Ooh, I almost forgot. If you have an extra ear lying around, go ahead and stick it in the freezer for dessert later. Go nuts and dip it in some melted caramel. It's a tasty treat that can't be beat. Too bad you didn't hear me sneaking up behind you, loser. <laughs> oh my god, I am so bad. Now it's time to saute some random innards in blood and flavor enhancing sauce. Be aware that plasma tends to rise, so don't let that freak you out. I like to use a little chili powder to give it that extra ah! And finally, a human heart appetizer. Hearts have a lot of valves, so it's okay. You can pop them in the microwave for 80 seconds. Two words, yum city. So there you have it, a gay cannibal's culinary masterpiece. Goes great with the Central Coast Red. It's funny, sometimes I have little revelatory freakouts about what I'm actually eating on a daily basis. Oh my god, what am I doing? But then I just remember that I'm doing the world a huge service by thinning the herd. Ciao.
hey, so here's a cool little trick. If you have some phony teeth, but you don't have that sticky glue stuff anymore that came with the teeth, you can just take, damn it! You can just take a little peanut butter, just a little skippy, just like this. See? And you just take a little peanut butter and you put the glop right there inside the bridge of the teeth thing. And then, now, when you pop it in your mouth, peanut butter will come out. So you're going to wind up with peanut butter breath throughout uh, your whole time while you wear these. But if you're just wearing them for a little bit, you stick them right in. Ah. See, and suddenly you've got Stephen King teeth glued on by peanut butter. But some peanut butter might, uh, might, uh, but some peanut butter might ooze out here. So you just got to be aware of that. I want to go back to Maine. I don't like it out here in Los Angeles.